What's going on, y'all? Back. Regular season, official, another season. I know I know a lot a lot of y'all did not tune in to the preseason, but we were very um efficient and consistent with uploading preseasons. So yeah, man, that was pretty good. Solid preseason. Uh, we have week one predictions back at it, man. Finna continue it, man. Try to keep it rolling. Uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in for another season. I think it's like my fourth or third, third consecutive season doing these. Doing just, you know, football reactions. Probably gonna continue, man. Uh, like to do it. Like football, so why not? Uh, we're gonna start off with week one tonight. Uh, Thursday night football. Kickoff. Got the Bills versus the Rams. Um, it's gonna be an interesting matchup. Two good defenses, two good offenses. Um, uh, I don't want to make these videos too long, man. I really don't. But what I'm gonna do is real quick review roster. So um, I just want to, I just want to take a look. I know what the Bills are looking like, uh, depth chart wise. I don't know what the depth chart. Here we go. I don't know what the um, what the Rams are looking like. Josh Devin starting. James Cook is the second. Okay. Diggs. So Gabe Davis is the number two. McKenzie. Dawson Knox, of course. Uh, Greg Rousseau. Oliver. Vaughn. Tremaine Edmonds. Kair Elam. Kair starting. Really? I didn't know that. What, what's, what's going on with uh, Tredavious White is out. Oh, wow. Okay. Did not know that. Okay. Tredavious White is out right now. Um, okay, Khalil. Khalil's gonna be doing a uh, punt return. Isaiah is doing kick return. Did not know Tredavious was gonna be out this game. That's gonna be key. What's gonna be interesting is to see Kyer Elam starting. I'm gonna be real, that's gonna be very interesting. Uh, let's check the Rams real quick at the Rams. Uh, Stafford, Aker starting, Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson. I ain't gonna lie, man. I think Allen Robinson is going to do big things with this team. We're gonna see him back to his um Pro Bowl form. I really I really believe so. Um not just because you know we've seen the same thing with Odell, but just because Allen Robinson is a nice receiver. He, he had a bad season last year, but I don't think that was totally his fault. I'm just being honest. I think you know there's other stuff to it, but I think he will get back to that. Um Van Jefferson is out. So who 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 are they having playing uh, at, at this spot right here? Because it says O, oh. so I'm assuming that's out. Y'all let me know. Um, Tyler Higby's playing, uh, and then we got all the starters on defense for the most part. Uh, so looking pretty similar on defense. If I have to pick, man, uh, we about three minutes in. If I have to pick, uh, who do I pick? Who do I pick? Who do I pick? Let me think. I'm going to go with. I'm gonna go with the Bills. I'm gonna go with the Bills. Uh, not saying that they're just a better team, but I like them right now on paper. Um, I feel like they're a little more filled out. Um, uh, I don't know. You know, I don't really really want to go too in depth into it because I can't I can't create a huge argument of why they're gonna beat the Rams. Is that's just that that's gonna be my prediction. So if I take the L, I take the L. Um, we have the Saints versus the Falcons. Uh, I probably pick, you know, we might as well go ahead and just check depth charts, man, because I, I, I'm not super familiar with all the uh, teams starting depth charts right now, so why not? And I think that'd be interesting to add, you know, interesting context to add to the video. So, um, you know, things may change, but uh, we'll see uh, by Sunday. So we got the Saints versus Falcons, Jameis Winston. So Michael Thomas is questionable. I hope to see Michael Thomas play, man. I definitely hope to see him play. Um, Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave. It's going to be eight. Ooh, they got a nice receiving core. Tight end is probably where they could uh, upgrade it. They got Taysom Hill as the second string tight end. That's that's going to be interesting. It, how was he? How was he doing at tight end? Is, is he doing decent blocking? If anything, you know, um, Cameron Jordan, Pete Warner starting. Uh, he's questionable as well. This 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 DB core is nice. Uh, I don't know about Paulson. Y'all let me know how he is, but I know Marcus May, Tyron Matthew, and Marshawn Lattimore. It's, it's a nice DB core there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and check out the Falcons real quick. Uh, hopefully, this doesn't make the video too long, but it is what it is. I'll try to put timestamps. So, y'all just, uh, y'all bear with me, man. Uh, here go Falcons here. 
Falcons, Marcus Mariota, Cordell Patterson is starting at running back. Drake London is questionable, but starting. Uh, Zacchaeus, Bryant Edwards, Kyle Pitts. Um, mm, okay, okay, okay. Looking solid. I will, I mean, just, just off strength of lineup. I mean, this is just on paper, but strength of lineup. I'm going to pick the Saints in this one. Uh, next, we got the Browns versus the Panthers. So, and, you know, we can't really go to, you know, we can't really speculate too much because we haven't seen anything yet. We haven't seen much yet. Uh, this is this is we seen preseason and now this is the regular season. I'm not gonna if a team went undefeated in preseason, I'm not even thinking about it to be honest with y'all. Um, I'm thinking about the regular season. Uh, so we got the Browns versus Panthers. Uh, let's see, you got Brissett, Chubb, Amari, uh, Donovan Peoples Jones. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. And David Bill starting. Oh, I kind of like they uh, they two in their three. I want to see how that plays out. I got uh, no, it's not just King Grant, he's an IR. Anthony Schwartz is gonna be interesting. Demetri Felton is, is listed a receiver as well. Okay, so they kept him as a receiver. Um, David Njoku, offensive line solid, of course. Miles, uh, Clowney defense looks defense looks good. Uh, let's see, Martin Emerson Jr. there, he's gonna be playing, and then they got Demetri uh, on return duties. So let's see, you got the Browns, and then we're gonna go check out the Panthers. Uh Panthers, Baker Mayfield starting, Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, Robbie Anderson, Terrace Marshall, Tommy Trimble. I like this group. I ain't gonna lie, man. Michael Jordan, uh Brian Burns, Derek Brown, Matt Ionitis. I like this group. I ain't gonna lie, man. This is gonna be a very competitive game. I see it. Uh no reason for them to uh to uh to you know, I feel like for one team to outscore the other heavily or it to be a, a huge gap, you know. Um, I'm going to pick the. Uh, let me see. Pick the. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. I, I, it's going to be about game plan. I'm going to be honest for the for the Browns. But. I think I'm gonna pick the the Panthers for this one. I'm gonna pick the Panthers. I think ba Baker gets the the win over his old team in Week One. Uh, we got the 49ers versus the Bears. Let's see, Bears. Uh, Justin Fields, David Montgomery, Aaron Mooney, Byron Pringle is on the Bears. Okay, Velas Jones questionable. They got mm, their receiving core is like it's some solid names, but it's like I'm curious. What's going to play out with this? There's some solid names, but it's not like, okay, I trust this guy to be the guy, you know, to go out there and be dominate a game and, you know, affect the whole game, you know. Um, but we'll see as the season plays on. Uh, Cole Komet, um, so got some solid guys on the defense. Uh, okay, Velas Jones on punt return. That's actually interesting. Uh, and the 49ers, I ain't gonna lie, I don't think I have to really even look because personally, I would pick the 49ers. No, no, no shade on the Bears, but I like the 49ers team a lot better. Um, I already know most of their roster Brandon IU, Jawan Jennings, they have a short receiving court. They got one, two, three, five, they have five receivers. They have five receivers. That's it on the roster. That's kind of wild. George Kittle's questionable. Hopefully he plays. Uh, Samson. Ah, wow, man, that's wild. Oh, Tyler Noah is starting now. How? how what? What are, what are our projections on uh, how he, how he's going to do? Jimmy Ward is on IR. Really? What happened with Jimmy? A hamstring injury. Oh man, that's tough. Wow. Um, this is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Um, okay, 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 okay. Emmanuel Mosley starting, Trevorius Ward. Let me go back to the Bears real quick. Mm. They went three and on the preseason. That's good. Jaquan Brisker, Eddie Jackson, Kyler Gordon, Jalen Johnson. They got a nice, they got low key got a nice defense. Um, which is about what they do on offense. Um, who, where, where are they, where are they playing at? I want to assume the right is home. Are they playing at the Bears? 49ers, Bears. 
Yeah, they playing at Bears. Okay, so that's that's safe assumption. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the Bears. I'm gonna pick the Bears for the upset. Just on paper, I like what I see right now. Uh, got a pretty solid defense, strong defense. The 49ers, I think, are the better team, but I just like this is just week one. So once as we see stuff um play out down the season, then you know we got we got a better um. We have better indication and you know better better thought process of you know what to what to expect. Uh we got the Steelers versus the Bengals. Sorry y'all if y'all had a baby crying. All right, y'all. We got the Steelers depth chart. Um Mr. Trubisky obviously starting. It says Kenny Pickett second. I, I saw a report saying he was third on the depth chart. So um Mr. Trubisky starting, Najee Harris, of course, Deontay Johnson. I, I like this offense so much, bro. It's young, but I like it so much. Um Defense, Larry Tyson, Cam, TJ. So TJ's healthy. Okay, good, good. Ready to go. Devin Bush, Miles, Jack, Highsmith, Weatherspoon. Okay. Ooh, they got a squad, man. They have a squad. Um, uh, man. I already know the uh Bengals have a offensively nice. Defensively, they actually nice defensively too, man. Um all right, y'all. I'm gonna have to give this one to the Bengals defending AFC champions. So I'm gonna give it to them. Um let's see. We got the it's it's it's, it's tough. It, it's, it's tough. We got some tough matchups. I know, I know. Um next we got the Eagles versus the Lions. Let's see, we got the Eagles. Riot. Let's have a better order. Oh, this is by City. Philly. So we got the Eagles. Uh Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders, AJ. AJ Devontae and Quez. This this that that one and two. That's a strong one and two, man. That's a strong one and two with Devontae and Quez and uh and, and uh, AJ uh Dallas Goddard. O line nice, Brandon Graham, Javon Hargrave, Josh Sweat. Mm, this is gonna be it. I think this would be a good game. Um but I think I already know who I'm gonna give it to. Jared Goff, Amon Ross, St. Brown. This is gonna be an interesting team. Jameson Williams is out. Oh man. What, what's going on with him? What's up with Jameson? Uh, has he, oh he has a knee knee issue. Okay, so he's not playing. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick. I like their squad though. I like their squad. I ain't gonna lie. They got they got some solid pieces on the, on the team. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Eagles in this one. Colts versus Texans. I'm gonna try my best not to be biased. Let me uh, look at the Colts roster first. Indy. Matt Ryan, Jonathan Taylor, Pittman, Campbell, Alec Pierce. So he's going to be getting some starting snaps. Uh, Mo Ali Cox, um, Quiddy Pay, DeForest Buckner, Grover, Yannick, Shaquille. What? 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 Why does? Why does he like all of a sudden not going by Darius anymore? Why is he going by Shaquille? I'm really curious about that. Y'all, let me know. Um, Nick Cross. They got a nice squad. Man, they got a nice squad. Um. Oh, yeah. Davis Mills, Damian Pierce is the starter. I ain't gonna lie, man. I like um, I like Marlon Mack. Like he when he got touches in the preseason, he actually did some work. Like I don't understand why we released him. Like that was very very strange to me. We only have four receivers on the roster. I know five. Okay, that's kind of wild. Um, Brevin Jordan. I wonder if OJ Howard is gonna play. I hope he does. Um, okay, Grin and Grenard, Malik Khan. I like our squad too. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, man. So, this is tough. Playing in Houston. Oh, man, it's gonna be tough. Um, man, that's a tough, that's a tough, that's a tough, that's a tough one. I'm gonna pick the Texans week one. Let me pick the Texans week one. I'm not being biased. Just uh, I'm pick the Texans. Um, let's see. Patriots versus Dolphins. This is gonna be a good. Oh my. Oh my. It's gonna be a good matchup. They've been having some good matchups, especially since Tom Brady left. Even that that the last year that Tom Brady was there, from time to time the Dolphins give them some fits. But especially that last year Tom Brady was there. Since then, I feel like they've been having some pretty good matchups. Uh, Tua, Chase, Edmonds is starting. Okay, Tyreek, Jalen, 
hey, hey, y'all playing. I see Izu Kama there, Mike Kaseki, um, Wilkins, Agba, Melvin Ingram. Okay, that's a solid pickup. Um, Atlanta Roberts, Jerome Bacon, Jalen Phillips. How has Jalen Phillips been playing? Brandon Jones, Nick Needham, Eric Rowe. Am I am I am I missing something? I could have sworn. Oh no, no, I'm tripping. Who, who, somebody's missing Byron Jones. That's why I was looking for it. Okay. Put him on a reserve list. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so he's not playing. I still like their defense though. Like they're pretty solid. And then the Patriots. Let's see. New England Patriots, uh, Mac, Damian, Jacoby, Devontae, Nelson, Hunter. Mm. Solid offense. Uh, I'm looking forward to see how Devontae Parker plays and how he fits into this offense. I think he's going to make them a lot better. He only got two tight ends, Hunter and John New Smith. That's kind of wild. Um... Devin McCourty's still doing this thing, man. Jabril Pepper's not starting. I'm sure he's gonna see the field a lot though. They got a lot of DBs. They got a, they got a nice set of DBs. Uh whew, this is a this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I'm not even halfway through yet, bro. I feel like th these have been some tough picks. Um hmm. Planet Money. Oh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Starting it off. Starting it off, man. I'm going to pick. My, my, my heart says the Patriots. My head, it doesn't say anything, really. It's like it's in the middle. So I'm going to just go ahead and pick the Patriots. Because... These two teams are pretty, um, I feel like, evenly matched. Like, uh, I like the personnel offensively of the Dolphins more. But, ooh, man, that's 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 kind of tough. You know? It's kind of tough. I kind of I kind of want to pick the Dolphins. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to just roll with it. I, I'm, I'm going to roll with it for now. All right, we got the Ravens versus Jets. Do I have to look? I'm going to just look at the rosters, but I'm going to pick the Ravens right now. Um. Whoa! What happened? To, uh, the the third third quarterback. What's his name? I can't think of his name. The quarterback from Oregon. Did, did he? Is he on a practice squad or something? Um, James Prochet, Mark Andrews, uh, Rashad Bateman is the number one receiver. Wow. Demarcus Robinson. Oh, oh def I want to see Tylen Wallace get some get some uh catches, man. Uh, Slade Bolden. I, I wanted to see him play this season. Defense. Josh Ross made the roster. Marcus Peters. They got the man. They got a squad, man. They got a squad. Uh, of course the Ravens. Like I said, let's just check. We just checking the rosters just cause. Uh, Jets. So Jack Joe Flacco starting. Brees Hall. Brees Hall is a starter over Michael Carter. I mean, I know they drafted Brees in the first, but like. Michael Michael was nice last year, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't he have like 900 rushing yards as a rookie? And it's not like the Jets just a, a nice team like that. Like you know, it's kind of wild. But we're gonna see how that plays out. They're gonna have a. I'm pretty pretty sure they're gonna have a duo, uh, a, a tandem. Uh, Elijah Moore, Corey Davis, Garrett Wilson. That's a pretty solid. Uh, pretty solid three. Um, let's see, let's see. Carl Lawson, Quincy, Sauce Gardner, Jordan Whitehead. They got some new guys on this defense. I kind of, I kind of like their defense. I think, I think they're gonna actually compete. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's gonna, it won't. I don't, I don't see it being a blowout, but I think they're gonna, they're gonna bring some play. Uh, Jags versus Washington. Again, like I said, Ravens. Jags versus Washington. So I check these rosters out. So Washington, Jacksonville. Let's see. Trevor Travis Etienne is the number one back. Uh, Christian Kirk, Marvin Zay, hold up, camera dot. Well, ain't die, but 
Here we go. All right. Um, they got a solid roster. Off offensively, I kind of like. Got some vets there. Christian Kirk, Marvin Jones, Zay Jones. Got three vets. I think that'll help Trevor Lawrence for sure. Uh, Tim Jones, he had a nice preseason. Uh, oh, they picked up Kendrick Pryor. Ooh, okay. And they got Jamal Agnew. Wow. I like their receiving core. I like their receiving core. Kendrick Pryor, he did good in the preseason. Him and Tim Jones. That's that's pretty cool. Two uh, two undrafted rookies with, uh, with you know some good opportunity. Um, Devin Lloyd. Devin. I, I, don't, I didn't know he got drafted by the Jaguars. At least I forgot that. Completely forgot that. Wow. Okay. And he's starting. How was he doing in the preseason? I, I I didn't pay attention to him at all preseason. I completely forgot about him. Andre Cisco. Okay. Okay. He's starting. Shaquille Griffin. Mm. They got a solid roster, man. This is the on paper. I think this is a better team than it was last year. So we'll see how everything plays out. Um. But. I don't know. I, I feel I feel kind of confident in them. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, okay. Commanders, Carson Wentz, Antonio Gibson, Terry McLaurin, Jahan Dotson. So Jahan is starting. Him and Terry will be nice, in my opinion. I feel like they got pretty similar styles. Curtis Samuel. Um, let's see. Mm, D-line, nice as usual. Front seven. Seven good Kendall Fuller, Cam Curl, Bobby McCain, Will Jackson. Um, and they're playing where at Washington. This could be this could be a solid game. I'm going to pick I'm gonna pick the um I'm gonna pick the Jags. I'm gonna pick the Jags on this one. Kind of like the Jags here. Um Ravens Jets. No, I did that already. Tripping. Kansas City versus Cardinals. Uh, I'm gonna pick Kansas City off rip. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and check their depth chart just because let's check Arizona first. Um, Kyler Murray, James Conner, Marquise Brown, AJ Green. Glad to see AJ back, man. I want to see him make some plays. Greg Dortch, nice, 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 nice receiver, man. Andy Isabella, Rondo Moore. I think they'll do some work. Um, yeah, the receiving core is solid. Uh it's just uh they got some similar receivers with Marquise Brown, Rondell, Andy, and Greg. Like all smaller receivers, you know. Uh, it's not a lot of diversity. They're all smaller and kind of speedy, but uh, I, I do like their. Per, I like them as a personnel, you know, like a, like in, as individuals for sure. Uh, let's see, JJ Watt, Richard Lawrence, Dennis Gardy, Zayvon Collins is in the starting lineup now. Him and Isaiah Simmons gonna be nice. Like if this, if this plays out to their, you know, them them both hitting their full potential. And I like Gardick and Marcus Golden on the outside. That's a nice linebacker core for real. Uh Byron Murphy, Jalen Thompson, Buda Baker, and Marco Wilson. They, they, this team has some potential. Um we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Um Mahomes, Clyde's Edward Hilaire. We got four running backs. Juju, Sky Moore is on the bench. Justin Watson on the bench. Marquez Valdez Scantling, Justin Ross, it's IR, Miko Harmon. I'm, I'm looking forward to see this this three play because we didn't get to see them play in preseason. Uh, Travis Kelsey, of course. Mike Dana, George Kalatis is a second string. I'm sure he's gonna get rotated though. Definitely he's gonna get rotated. Um, Chris Jones, Frank Clark, Willie Gay, Nick Bolton, Leo Chanel, Trent McDuffie, Justin Reed. Bro, this defense is nice. Leo is playing outside. Or or is it that they run a uh a, a four three? That's why he's dog. This defense is nice on paper. Like this is a nice defense. I'm 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 being so real with y'all. Legere Sneed, Juan Thornhill, Justin Reed, Trent McDuffie. All three of the linebackers athletic and can hit. Um yeah, like I said, I'm going with the Chiefs on that one. Um should be a good game though, of course. Uh Raiders Chargers. I don't know who to pick here. Did I see something about XFL? I saw something about XFL. I did. Okay. Uh let's see. So when I say Raiders Chargers. Where we at? Where we at? Las Vegas Raiders, Los Angeles Chargers. Um Carr, Jacobs, Devontae Adams, Renfro, Mac Hollins. They got a nice 
We got a nice offense, man. Max Crosby, Billings, Bilal Nichols, Chandler Jones. Divine Diablo. How is how is Divine uh playing, man? Got some athletic line, linebackers. This, this, this core right here, Divine, Denzel, Jayon. I can say Denzel the most athletic, but he a solid linebacker for sure. But Jayon and Divine, that's two two athletic linebackers right there. Very. Rocky Seen, Jonathan Abram, Trevon Moray, and Nate Hobbs is starting. Okay. What broke the starting lineup? Wasn't he uh like starting playing nickel last year or something? I don't know if he was starting in nickel, but I know he was playing nickel. Um man it's gonna be a good matchup man it's a different feel from preseason preseason i was excited but like we get to see starters play now it's the real football bro real justin herbert austin eckler sony michelle was a good pickup for them that's gonna kind of it's kind of gonna hurt isaiah spiller but uh hey it's about it's about winning you know at the end of the day you know, you want to put the guy, the most guys you can on there who are most valuable and help you help you win, you know. And uh Sony, Sony gonna be a good pickup for them. Uh I think he can get that second that second spot over Josh Kelly. No offense to Josh, but I, I just I like Sony. I think he has that that type of potential. Um Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Josh Palmer, Jalen Guyton. Them four right there are nice. DeAndre Carter's nice too. I ain't gonna lie. I, I like him. He's a solid piece. Gerald Everett. When did they pick it? What? When did they pick him up? Donald Parham, okay. That's two pretty uh athletic tight ends right there. I did not know they had Drew. Um, offensive line solid. Jerry Tillery, Sebastian Joseph Day, Joey Bosa, Kyle Van Noy. I did not know they had him. Okay, Khalil Mack, J.C. Jackson, Derwin James. Squad's nice, bro. He got a nice squad. Um, okay, we're going off paper. I'm gonna pick the Chargers. I'm gonna pick the Chargers. So, that's what I'm rolling with. I'm with the Chargers. I like I like the Raiders, but and I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue. You know, I'm gonna let y'all have it. It's two two close teams, very competitive. It's gonna be a very good game. Green Bay Packers versus the Vikings. I am picking the Packers. I'm picking the Packers. Uh, we're gonna check the Packers roster. Um, let's check both, of course. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Jones, Alan Lazard is questionable. Sammy Watkins. This is what we didn't see in the, in the preseason. Lazard, Watkins, and Cobb. Cobb can still play. Uh, underrated receiver, in my opinion. Underrated vet, in my opinion. Uh, but he can still play. Sammy Watkins. Um, I need to lower this. Yeah, I'm going to lower this soon. Um, Sammy Watkins can play. And then Alan Lazard, he, he's nice, bro. So to see him in the number one position is going to be very interesting. And then I, I think they have some depth with Amare, Romeo, Christian. They got some depth. Um, just gonna have to go out there, just make plays, take advantage of the opportunities. Robert Tunyon, the old lineman, Kenny Clark, Jerron Reed, Preston Smith. Linebackers are nice. So Quay Walker is starting. Okay, it's it's, it's, it's good to see. Very interesting. Let's see how that plays out. Let's see Devontae Wyatt uh, gonna be in there rotating. Jair Alexander, Adrian Amos, Darnell Savage, Eric Stokes. He got a nice secondary too, man. Uh, but yeah, Packers for sure. But we're gonna still, of course, check out the Vikings. Um, Vikings, Kirk Cousins, Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Adam Thielen, KJ Osborne, Irv Smith Jr. So he's finally starting. I don't think he even starting. Was he was he starting last year? I don't remember. But uh, he's been uh picked 2019 finally. Um, so he's in starting lineup. Um, uh, got some guys, of course. Ty Chandler's fourth on the depth chart. That is kind of crazy to me. I like Alexander Madison and Kane, but I think Ty could I think Ty could jump up to that second spot if I'm being honest. They go they're gonna probably do it like say Dalvin gets hurt, it's gonna be running back by committee, or like, you know, they blowing they blowing people out, you know, if that happens. And even though Vikings rarely ever did last year, every every game was close, but you know what I mean. I think Ty could jump up with with the opportunity, he could easily jump to that second spot. Um Dalvin Thomas and Harrison Phillips, the new Hunter, Eric Kendricks, Zadarius Smith. I didn't know he signed with them. Okay, that's wild. Harrison Smith, Cameron Bynum. I'm gonna still go with the uh with the Packers, but it should be a good game. It definitely should be a good game. Um, let's see where I left off. The Giants, Titans. Uh. Try not to rush this, but I low key gotta rush this. Uh, Giants, Titans, Giants. 
I, I kind of got my pick already. Oh, I don't know if I do. We'll see. Daniel Jones, Saquon coming back. Uh, Matt Breida, that's a good backup in my opinion. That's a good backup for Saquon. Um, Kenny Galladay, Kadarius Tony, Sterling Shepard. They got a nice receiving core. They got one of the most underrated receiving cores in in the league, in my opinion. It's just they don't do much with it. Like offensive personnel, we're gonna X out Daniel Jones. Just running backs and wide receiver. They nice, but it's just like I don't know. It was like that last year too. It was like you're not doing much with it. They definitely need to upgrade the O line though. Um, Aziz Ojolari. Uh, okay, K Kavon Thibodeau. Of course, you starting. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, I got some solid players. I ain't gonna lie, I got some solid players. Oh, I said the Giants versus some tripper. Titans, okay. Titans, Tennessee. Where are they? Tennessee, Ryan, of course. So Malik is the only backup quarterback. Derrick Henry, Dontrell, Harry, Hilliard. So they got, they kept both of the rookies. I ain't gonna lie, I thought, I thought Hassan was gonna be in trouble because Julius was playing nice in the preseason. I don't know if they were just like lowering Hassan's snaps or what. And I'm surprised they put him over Julius. I, just by what they, not saying Hass, Julius is better, but just saying the way um, they had everything looking, it looked like uh, Julius would be higher in the depth chart. Um, Dontrell Hilliard, Robert Woods, Traylon Burks. It's gonna be good to see Robert Woods play. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Austin Hooper. Mm, Jeffrey Simmons. Okay, defense. Defense defense looks solid still. It's gonna be a good game. Let's see what they playing at Tennessee. Bruh. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna pick an upset. I'll pick the Giants with the upset. Tennessee is the better team, for sure. But uh I let's pick an upset. Um Let's see, let's see, let's see. Buccaneers, Cal. Oh, Buccaneers, Cal. Didn't they play week one last year? That's a good game. It's going to be a good game. Dak, Zeke, uh, CD. CD number one. Okay, Jalen Tober. We're going to get to see him play for real, for real. Uh, okay, Demarcus Lawrence. Anthony Barr is starting. They got Dante Fowler, too. So, Jabril Cox is a backup still. I ain't going to lie. I I thought he was a good pickup for them. I thought eventually he would end up starting. Where is where is Micah? Okay, there you go. Um, Anthony Brown, Jayon Curse, Jayron Curse, Blake Cooker. Mm. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Oh man, they got some athletic linebackers. This is interesting. Okay, that's Cowboys. Let's check out the Bucks real quick. Tampa Bay. Oh, I'm trying to rush this. I got something to do. Um, Brady, Fournette, of course. Oh, Fournette starting. Okay. Fournette's the one. But I feel like they're going to be passing it a lot. Mike, Chris, Russell, Julio, Scotty. Receiving core is deep. Um, Not too worried. Akeem, Vita Vea. Mm. I'm going to pick the books. I'll pick the books. It's going to be a very good game, though. Very good game. Okay, and then we have the last game of the week. Monday Night Football would be Broncos versus Seahawks. So let's see the Denver Broncos. Russell, Javante. Javante's listed as the one. Wow. Okay. Um, Javante, Melvin, Mike Boone. They got a nice three. I ain't gonna lie. Uh Cortland. Like if one of these if one of these go down, I like I like Mike Boone. He, he at least he performed very nice in the preseason. He's a solid running back though. Uh, Cortland, Jerry, Judy coming back. KJ Hamler, Albert O. Mm. Their DB core is nice. Front seven is just a little questionable. That's all. Uh, Bron was it Broncos, Seahawks? Yeah, Seahawks. Okay. Uh, uh, I ain't gonna lie. Gino, Rashad, Tyler Lockett. Their receiving core nice. Shot Penny starting. No offense. Charles Cross. Oh, both of the rookie tackles are starting. Oh wow. Okay. Um, Tariq Woolen is starting. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've been meaning to watch his college highlights for the longest, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been saying that for the longest. Um, 
I like this matchup, but I'm gonna pick Rush for the for the win. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna pick the Broncos over the Seahawks. But I think it's a be I think it'd be a good game, man. All right, that's it. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Uh, we'll see how it plays out. Uh, yeah, man. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is dropping Monday night and s Monday night and Thursday nights by themselves. I might even do Sunday nights too. I might I might start doing that. We'll see. But I might do Monday nights, Sunday nights, and Thursday nights by themselves, like the primetime games. And then just the Sunday games, drop them all in one video. We'll see. Like I said, I might start doing that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to decide by this week. So this weekend, because we're, we're about to start. But let me know y'all thoughts. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hit that like button for me. Also, subscribe. Stay tuned. Follow the Twitch, man. We're going live when, when I react to the games. Uh, yeah, man. Stay blessed.